good getting internet. I have no idea if I'm even visible right now because, well, I know my phone can record better in low light than it appears on the display, but it's still really dark. I am currently taking a walk. Um, short one because it's supposed to, the storm's supposed to come in about a half an hour. But I haven't had a chance to actually leave the house today. Unfortunately, I am in a lot of pain right now. Um, yeah, I can at least see myself when I'm standing underneath the streetlight. And a car is coming without noticing that I'm walking across the road. That's always fun. Um, so yeah, at some point in the past couple of days, I injured my back. I don't exactly know how I did it this time. But it seems to hurt whenever I'm standing, which is the opposite of most back problems that I've had experience with. Where it'll hurt if I'm sitting in certain positions, or it'll hurt all of the time. Not just hurting only when I'm standing. Um, today it actually reached, what, 26, 27 degrees? Uh, 27 is 80 degrees Fahrenheit for reference, which is unseasonably warm. Don't worry, it won't last. Tomorrow's low is below freezing. Uh, hence the storm coming in tonight. That's a cold front, so it'll become significantly colder on the other side of the storm. And this is a thunderstorm because of the extreme difference between hot and cold temperatures. By the way, did anybody actually learn meteorology in school other than Floridians? From what I've been able to tell, nobody else did. Like, basic meteorology, not anything super special. Ooh, that house has wildflowers right now. That's nice and pretty. Um, I don't know if you'll see it. I'm gonna go with no, you probably can't see it, even though I can see it. But this yard has wildflowers all over the lawn. I approve. Anyway, um, my brain is still not in a happy place to put it mildly. Um, my blood pressure is sky high at the moment, although I didn't actually check it today. And I messed up my grocery delivery order. I meant to have it delivered for this morning and I forgot to actually hit submit. So my groceries didn't arrive until, what, at 19 tonight? which meant that I ended up ordering food for dinner and ate what I had available for lunch, which was a bag of frozen vegetables. So, not the greatest. Um, <sighs> yeah, my brain is a very unhappy place in general. I don't like being this way. I miss being able to smile that much. I can laugh still, that's good, I'm not that far gone, but I think a large chunk of this is due to the holding pattern that I've put my life into. I mean, I'm waiting on paperwork to be able to get married, the paperwork hasn't arrived yet in Norway. Um, needs to be filled out, submitted, then I fly over there, probably getting COVID because nobody's actually treating this pandemic like a pandemic right now. Um, come back, fill out all the paperwork. Current waiting time's now up to four months instead of three months, so that's fun. And then, and only then, do I actually have any chance whatsoever at actually moving to Norway? Which is the next major event for my life. Everything is leading up to that. But I don't know when it is. My friends are constantly asking me when I'm moving to Norway. When do I think I'm moving to Norway? My family is asking me the same thing. Or when do I think I'm getting married? Or I don't know any of these things because all of it is completely out of my control at this point. 
and I hate having so much out of my control. I know some people relax when things are out of their control because, well, it's out of their control. There's nothing they can do about it. In my case, not even close. I rage when everything is out of my control. I want at least something in my control, and that's not feasible. On top of it, there's work where, surprise, surprise, my mental state is not exactly conducive to being product, eh, productive at work. Um, cat situation where zone is getting progressively worse at being clingy as time goes on. Each time that I leave, it gets worse and worse and worse, and I'm going to be doing a bunch of traveling this year, so that's not going to help things. I probably need to get in contact with the cat therapist again, but that requires even more time that I don't have. Yay! Uh, car coming, I'll just wait. Two of them, actually. It doesn't help that on a good day I'm an anxious wreck, never mind what's going on right now. <sighs> Just sick of everything going on. Then you have the fact that I just came back from Florida, which means that I'm already not in a happy place. Even not counting... Constantly getting reminded that I'm an orphan. Um, constantly getting reminded that both of my parents died very early. And assuming that I average their lifespans, I'm well over half of my own at this point. That's right, I remember what the vlog was supposed to be about yesterday, finally. Uh, I'm not going to do that one tomorrow, but when I get back, I'm going to write it down. And or just after I'm done recording this, add it to my notes discord. Just so I can actually remember. But... Yeah, everything has been pretty terrible for me as of late, which is dumb, because on the face of it, everything's fine. And there is somebody, are they coming? Yes, they are. Nope, they're not. It's always hard to tell on bicycles. I'm on a bicycle path right now, for reference. Now I really doubt you can see me. Believe it or not, I actually am holding the camera up to my face. Um, where was I? Everything's generally terrible, even though on the surface of it, my life should be actually fairly good. Financially, I'm doing great. I don't need to worry about that. And as long as I can keep my job, I will continue to not have to worry about it. Finally got my colonoscopy scheduled. So, you know, being the son of a colon cancer victim, it's generally recommended to get a colonoscopy significantly earlier in life than normal. So, rather than constantly wondering or putting it off like my mother did, which caused her to die, um, I'm getting it done early before I move, just in case. Of course. That has its own problems, like the fact that uh, in order to get the colonoscopy, I'm required to take a formal COVID test, which is fine. Except that the only COVID testing facilities that they accept, without having to go through a whole bunch of paperwork and so on, are drive through Fun fact about drive through COVID facilities, they don't accept anybody who's not in a car. Yeah, great accessibility for those of us that don't drive. Excellent job. A+. Plus. I hate car-centric culture so damn much here. It is actually one of the major things, major reasons why I think I'll be happier in Norway than here. With, of course, all of the negative sides of the fact that I'm losing my entire friends network by moving. Other than my partner, that is. I don't know, I'm just... Worried to death over my anger and angered to death over my worries. I guess you can say. I don't know. 
Maybe I'm just being too angsty today. Who knows? <sighs> what I do know is I'm getting really tired of the way my life is working right now. I'll talk to you later, Internet. And I'll make sure I get a kitty somewhere. Bye, Internet. Why am I waving at the camera? You almost certainly can't see me. As promised, a kini. Oh, I just realized I'm recording this in 4K. Whoops. That's okay. Kitties deserve better resolution. I only now got home, even though it was supposed to rain in the next half an hour. It never did. So, I think I was walking for an hour and a half total? Something like that. A little bit less, I think. Anyway, once more, good night or not.